Well, sorry, I was just trying to uh, just trying to give us a little bit of time. Um, we we've got we've got two curricular outcomes before we're kind of finished everything that we need to know for our exam. That is next. Tuesday. Your assignment, your major assignment, will be due next Monday. We're going to mark it in class. So if you don't have it done in class on Monday, you mark whatever you got done up to that point. Okay? Now we're going to finish all of our curricular stuff tomorrow. That means you should have about, if my math works out, you should have about four to five days to be able to finish that assignment for Monday. You should have. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but also half of Wednesday because we have uh, order in the morning. Is that okay? Yeah, so you should have lots of time to finish that assignment. Well, well, I'm just saying that if your class is ended by the time our class ended on Wednesday, if, if that was the end of your day, then you would have the rest of the day to finish the assignment. And all of Thursday, all of Friday, all of Saturday, all of Sunday. Not all of the day, because you're still doing other stuff in school, but hopefully you know what I mean. Um, this is actually one of this is actually one of the easier outcomes, but people get it confused with another curricular outcome. Now they're very different things. What I want to talk about is I want to talk about building redox reactions or balancing redox reactions by separating them out into half reactions. I don't know if you remember, but we can balance this reaction by using oxidation states. We can do PAFU, right? So what I would like to do is I would like to show you how fast we can solve this using the PAFU method. And then I'm going to show you this new method that's totally different. It uses completely different ideas, but we'll still get the same results. Some people like this method more. Some people like PAFU. It's, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay? So can I just, can I write this on the smart board, and then I'm going to erase it? And then we're going to do the new method. Is that okay? So I don't want you to write this down unless you want to write it down, but um, I would advise that you don't. Okay, if we want to do PAFU, what's the first thing that we have to do to balance this? We have to assign oxidation states. So this is plus 2, plus 1, minus 2. So HBIO3, that's negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, so this has to be plus 5 to balance it out. So the bismuth is plus 5, plus 3, minus 2, and you'll hopefully you're kind of getting used to the manganese and permanganate is plus 7 by now. It's just 2 times 4 is 8, but we're not canceling all 8 out, we're canceling 7, so plus 7. In here, the way I've written it down right now, again, you don't have to write this down, but this is just a review of PAFU. What in here is gaining electrons and what in here is losing electrons? What's the manganese doing? It's losing electrons. So this is losing electrons. And what's the bismuth doing? It's gaining electrons. The manganese is losing how many electrons per atom? Yeah, the difference between 2 and 7 is 5. So 5 electrons Pa per atom. And are there, is there more than one manganese in the formula unit? No, no so it's, it's the same thing, right? It's only one of them. So that's the one we're focused on. It's the formula unit that we're really focused on. Now the bismuth, it gains how many electrons? Between 5 and 3 is 2. So 2 electrons per atom. That means 2 electrons in the formula unit, because there's only one of them. And that's the thing that we're worried about. So what's the lowest common multiple between 5 and 2? 10. ten. So let's have our lowest common multiple be 10 moles of electrons. So at the end of the day, 
how many moles of electrons will be transferred in one of these reactions? Yeah. 10 moles of electrons. How can I get 10 moles of electrons to be transferred? If one of these transfers 5 electrons, how can I get 10 electrons transferred? By doubling it, putting a 2 in front. 2 manganese, 2 plus, and I need 5 HbIO3s. From here, have we balanced out the electrons by doing that? If two of these loses 10 electrons and five of these gains 10 electrons, that's like saying 10 electrons on this side, 10 electrons on this side, and they cancel, right? That's basically what we're saying. So we're fine with that. Now, how am I going to start balancing this? With your eyes. <laughs> with my eyes. <laughs> So what am I going to do first? You're going to look at the coefficient looking before bismuth, and you're going to write it before the ion. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to say I've got five bismuths in here, so I need five bismuths in here, right? I'm going to say I, need, I have two manganese, so I need two permanganates. And I'm foregoing states of matter because it's just faster this way. Now, I've, I've balanced the manganese and I've balanced the bismuths. Now, what's next? I've got to add waters. How many waters and to which side? So, I've got 15 oxygens over here. And I've got 8 oxygens over here. So, where do I need more? To the right. So, I need 7 waters over here. And then, how many hydrogen ions do I need, and which side do I need to put them on? Nine on the left. I've got five on the left, <laughs> and 14. So the difference between five and 14 is nine. So I'm just going to put nine hydrogen ions on this side. Okay, let's double check our charges. I've got plus four and nine makes positive 13. And do you get positive 13 out of this? Sure. Plus 15 minus 2 is plus 13. Good. Okay. Keep in mind, I was trying to reteach you this concept. How long did it take us to do that? Five minutes. <coughs> yeah, it took us probably, I think that took us six minutes to do that. How long would it take you, if it was just you doing it and you knew how to do it really well, how long would it take you? Two and a half minutes. I would argue it would take you about two to three minutes, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to totally erase our work. Keep in mind that we had nine hydrogens and we had, what, seven waters, I think? So I'm going to totally try and erase all of our work. And we're going to do this a different way. Right? What did I say? Did you have to write that down? No, no. We're going to do this a different way now. Okay. Here's the deal. If you don't like doing PAFU, we can do something totally different. We can take that reaction and we can actually split it up into two complex half reactions. We can make two complex half reactions and then just balance them out like we would with any normal half reactions. So what I want us to do is we're going to separate out the like terms. So the two things, you know, there's going to be something at the beginning and something at the end that are related to each other, and we'll pull them out. Balance all the non-hydrogen and oxygen terms first, add water, add hydrogen, add electrons, then balance the electrons. Okay? So let's just try it using an, an example, and we'll see where we get to. Manganese has almost like you can consider it to be a partner in the product side. What's manganese's partner in the product side? Oxygen. Permanganate. 
I would, I would call the whole thing permanganate, right? So do you agree manganese turns into permanganate? Yeah, sorry, I just asked, I asked the wrong question, that's all. Yes, manganese's partner is oxygen because it partners up with oxygen eventually. So I'm going to write out one half reaction. Manganese 2 plus turns into permanganate. That's going to be one of our half reactions. What's our other half reaction going to be? The HBiO3 is going to turn into what? Bismuth 3 plus. HBiO3 is going to turn into bismuth 3 plus. Would it be a sin if we didn't include states of matter? Um, I, I have a really bad habit. I have a terrible habit. Don't do what I do. Do what I say, not as I do. I have a terrible habit of not including states of matter until I realize it or until the question requires me to. So like until the very end. Um, I should do a better job of it, but I don't. Sue me, whatever. Okay, let's try this. So this half reaction, is this half reaction balanced? How would you balance this half reaction? Keep in mind, in this half reaction, there's only something either gaining or losing. There's not both. So assigning oxidation numbers is not going to help us for balancing this half reaction. Max. The, uh, minus five electrons, or add five electrons. Uh, not yet. Oh, not Water. yet? Not yet. We got to, we're balanced all the non-hydrogen, non-oxygens. So one manganese, one manganese. Are we good with that? Good. Then what are we going to do, Jordy? We're going to add four waters. Because we have to balance the oxygens. What's, Max, what's the last thing we're going to do? Um, Add electrons to balance out the charges. It goes uh, all the non-hydrogen oxygens first, then oxygens, then hydrogens, then electrons. So we're going to add four waters. We're going to add four waters. What does that mean? Now what do I have to do? Add eight hydrogen ions to the other side. Now, here's the really, truly, honestly tricky part about this. Do you immediately know, immediately, right off the top of your head, know how many electrons to add? Nope. Maybe. How many electrons, Shelby? Five. Five? On the right side, no. We don't have eight. Yeah. Okay. So we have we have. Okay. So we got positive seven over here, and positive two over here. Good. So that's a difference of five. So we need to add five electrons to the side that's more positive. Yep. Good. Lovely. If we would have added electrons from the beginning, you would have been very tempted to add electrons to the other side, right? And that wouldn't have been very, very uh, good for us. So this reaction, this half reaction is totally balanced. Absolutely, we're good to go. Keep in mind, remember, the manganese was losing electrons, right? And this half reaction shows that we're losing electrons. So that, that makes sense for us. How would I balance this one? Max, question. No, you had a well, question no, before. I might, it might be a stupid question. Okay. It is. We're good. All right. How do we balance this one? Mark? Add water. Add water to what side? Three. Add three waters to that side. Perfect. Now what do I got to do? I got to add how many hydrogen ions? Five hydrogen ions. And then how many electrons? I got three and five, so I gotta add two electrons what? to here. So far, we haven't actually really done anything that we haven't ever learned about. Like, the only thing we've done so far that we've never learned about is taking the manganese and the permanganate and kind of combining them, taking the bismuth and the bismuth and com combining them. Really, that's the only new thing that we've done so far today. So, 
If I wanted to balance this reaction out, what would be the lowest common multiple of electrons? 10. So I got to multiply the second one by 5. And I got to multiply the first one by 2. This is going to be a royal pain in your butt because there's two wicked big half reactions making one wicked massive big reaction. It's not possible for me to write it all in one line, so I'm going to have to kind of show you how. I'm just going to have to do it in two lines. Hopefully that's okay. So we got two times four is eight waters. 2 times 1 is 2 manganese 2 plus. Then we've got 5 times 2 is 10 electrons, but what happens to the electrons? They're going to get cancelled. Right? They're going to get cancelled, right? You can write it in if you want and cancel them out later, or you can just cancel them out now. So 5 times 5 hydrogens is 25 hydrogen ions. And then 5 times HbIO3 is 5 HbIO3s. So I'm half done my reaction, and I've taken up all of the space on my page, basically. Wow. That's a lot of so far, has this been extremely complicated yet? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, in my mind, this is more complicated than PAFU, in my mind. But some people like this more, and that's fine. That's just, just two different ways of doing it. Okay, now let's add up all the products. Two permanganates. So we're making two permanganates. And we're making 18, sorry, 16 hydrogen ions and five bismuth ions, and 15 waters. Holy guacamole. Does anybody have any questions so far? Will we ever be forced? You may be forced to use this way. Like on the next I, quiz. I could ask you, I could absolutely ask you, balance this using the half reaction method. So now we've got two, would you agree we've got two methods of being able to solve this problem? We've got PAFU, which is by assigning oxidation states, and then we've got half reactions. I could very well ask you to do one or the other. Or I could just say solve this using any... Any way yeah, you can. Because the Alberta government has to do this. Because it's not, because there's absolutely no written response on your diploma, you can do anything any way you want. Yeah, that's right. Okay, are we done yet? No. There's kind of an obvious question that you should probably be asking yourself. Why are there eight H2Os over here if we have 15 H2Os over there? Oh, you got to add more. Oh, you can get more. No, 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 no. And then just add one. Shelby, what should we do? Can we cancel them out? Can we cancel them out? So where do we have more waters? On the reactant side or on the product side? We have more on the product side. So that means all of the waters disappear from the reactant side. And this 15 turns into 7. Because eight, 8 of these cancel out with 8 of these, right? So we're left with 7. How many, is there anything else we can cancel out? 16 hydrogen ions and 25. Where do we have more, reactants or products? Reactants. Reactants. So the products totally cancel. And we're left with how many? 9. And what were our coefficients for hydrogen ions and water? 7 and 9, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> So now, 
Let's write out the remainder of this reaction. 2MN2 pluses. And lots of people are chatting right now, and I don't know if that's because they just want to avoid having to think about this because they hate it so much, or if you're just naturally destructive people. Wow. Are we? No? I'm ignoring your question? What's your question? Who would you vote for? I already told you. I voted for the NDP. Um, if, yeah, if you want to make, like, memes about political leaders, sure, no, I guess. No, he was making TikToks. He was making TikToks. He was making TikToks. He was making I don't, I don't know what TikTok is, so that's... What? Ah, man. I screwed that up, didn't I? Good. Vine, yes. A company bought Vine and was like, nah, that's the end of that. Yeah. They paid money to destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I think the same thing's gonna happen to take no. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Why don't you like your what? Am I trying to save you? Or are the conservatives trying to save you? No. I'm, yeah. Well, partially, yeah. But also, but also, I don't, I don't, like, if, because you're asking, I'm not trying to get into an argument. Because you're asking me, I don't, I don't, I don't have a lot of conservative values. In fact, I have very, very, very few. I, I, I hold almost zero conservative See, and I disagree with that. I, I sincerely believe in my heart of hearts and my brain of brains that the conservative party would not have or I think they would have made things radically for the average people and maybe, maybe marginally better for the average people. Not necessarily. You are not necessarily going to get more taxes. I think, do you think that but again, I'm not trying to get into this. It's for doing chemistry, right? And I don't want to give you time on this. Okay, sit down. Shut up. Here we go. Let's try this. Jordy Jonas, listen up. Come on. Caleb Logan. Any questions? No? How do we do this one? Do you want to do it together? Yeah. Or do you want to do it by yourself? <laughs> there's, there's two left, right? Or is there another one after this? No. So, so, do you want to do this together or do you want to do it by yourself? I think you should, if this is, it, all you're doing, what are you grouping CL2 with? Yeah. Yeah, so this is going to turn into that. That's going to turn into that. Oh, then just balance it using the half reaction method. Yes, you have to use half reaction. Okay. I, you cannot use PAFU right now because we're learning about half reactions. We're trying to practice this method. <coughs> so I just want to make sure. Okay, major entities only come up when we're predicting what we will make. Sanjana, do you know 
what we're going to make. Well, yeah. Yes, so there's no need to predict major entities. Or there's no need to use major entities to predict anything. Yeah. That's only if it's asking you to predict what we will make. Okay, do you want us to also identify the oxidation and reduction? <laughs> Um, we will talk about that as we go through this. We'll say this is the oxidation. No. I just need to but you don't have to right now. That's not what it's asking you. It literally went straight to PAF. Oh, yeah, have to actually. Yes, this is complicated. I think I have to. Do you like the PAF? This way, I'm adding you're helping the swim. Okay. My favorite part of the game. You have an eye for Because, like, it's a swim. Can you prefer the new way? There's nothing wrong with me. I know.
Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to finish up. I mean, if you're already done, move on to the next one, right? I don't know how to do this. going to turn into Cl minus. <coughs> O2 gas is going to turn into sulfate. So far, did anybody have any problems with that? No. Nope. Okay. Now, there was lots of people who had problems with the next step. How do I balance this top reaction? What's the First, once we've separated out our like like terms, what's the first thing we got to do? Everybody on their phone, I'm. I want you to know that I'm disappointed with you right now. Like, not mad, not angry. I'm just. That's the most dad. I am. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm just. I don't know. You're in. You're in a chem thirty course. You're in a grade twelve course. I just. I don't. I don't know if I want to baby you, and tell you to put away. Your but I will tell you I'm disappointed. Anyway. So what's the next thing? After separating out the like terms, what's the next thing we got to do to build a half reaction? Non-hydrogen, non-oxygens. Two chlorines, two chlorines, right? 
right? Yes. So now, where do we have a more positive side? The left side or the right side? Left side. So we've got two electrons. Just, when you're doing this stuff, just take it slow. When you're doing this kind of stuff, actually physically go back and look at the procedure. Am I doing the procedure in order? Right? It's not. Just go back. Just take a look at it. Okay, uh, this next one. I've separated out like terms. I've balanced all the non-oxygen hydrogens. So now what do I have to do? Add water. So I'll add two waters over here. Because of that, I have four extra hydrogens on the left side. So I need four hydrogen ions on the right side. And because of that, which side is more positive now? You have negative 2 and positive 4. So this side's positive 2, right? So i got to add two electrons to this side. You will never... You will never have a reaction where both of them are reduction half reactions. The top reaction, is this a reduction half reaction or an oxidation half reaction? Are we gaining or losing electrons in that top reaction? <coughs> the thing that we're starting with is gaining electrons, right? So this is a reduction half reaction. The one on the, it's, this is the oxidizing agent, but it's not the oxidation half reaction, right? Cl2, is this being oxidized or is it being reduced? Yes. It's gaining electrons, so it's being reduced, right? Okay, what's my lowest common multiple between two electrons and two electrons? It's itself. It, yeah, you don't have to do anything, right? So you just add it up. Cl2 aqueous plus two waters plus SO2 gas is going to make two Cl minuses, two chloride ions, plus a sulfate ion, plus four hydrogen ions. So let's, I don't know, you tell me, does this reaction seem balanced? It does. A total of zero over here. Does this add up to a total of zero? Yes. Minus two and minus two is minus four. Minus four and plus four is zero. So we're good. But there's four hydrogens on the product side and there's, okay, no, 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 no. never mind. Yep. Yep. So just double check, just go back and double check. That's all you got to do. Whew. Do you like doing oxidation states or do you like doing the half reaction method? Hands up if you like doing the oxidation state method. Hands up if you like doing the half reaction method. That's exactly split down the middle. That's not very good. That's no. That's why we teach both methods. That's true. But then it's just like you gotta figure out which. I'm forcing you to do this by the half reaction method.
I know. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. No. I look just like my dad. I look just like my dad. I look just like my I'm a speed of this guy. Uh oh, I'm running out of time on my speed. Gives you like so much good stories. Everyone who wants to know more stories has good stories. Have you seen even the customer? What? I didn't know the wrong stuff. I don't know if you saw that. I'll just be a I just work. Oh, and then tell them I don't I'll just be like, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yeah, you have to be a politician. No. Oh, 
You don't have to bring. No, you have to be a citizen of Canada. That's it. You have to be a what? Eight. Yeah. That's it. You have. Yeah. The youngest ever MP. They were talking about this uh, last night because he didn't get elected. Yes. Is because uh, the youngest ever MP uh, was elected uh, eight years ago. He was 19 at the time. Uh, seven years ago, he was 19 at the time, something like that. Um, and so he's, he's 28 or he's 29 right now, and he, he didn't get elected. What? Town, town wants to be prime minister? He's probably pulling your chain. All he do is like, okay, so Kanye is prime minister. Any problem that's going on in the country, he's just trying to solve it. There we go. Okay, listen up, please. I would like to try this one out, and then I really. I really quickly want to try a disproportionation reaction. Yeah. Okay, I, I separated out two of my like terms. What's the next step? The non-oxygen hydrogens. How many carbons? Two. How many carbons? Two, right? There's one here, one there, so that's already good. Yeah, I know. One hydrogen, two hydrogen. Sorry, oxygen. Sorry, one oxygen, two oxygen. H2O. Okay, this is where it starts to get really complicated. Shh. Actually, listen up, please. When you have hydrogens in more than one term on this side, then it starts to get really complicated. Two hydrogens plus how many hydrogens? Six. Six, so we have eight. How many over here? Four, so we need four more. And in order to balance out the charges, that's pretty easy, four electrons. Is this an oxidation reaction or is this a reduction reaction? This is an oxidation half reaction. Is the thing we're starting with combining with electrons? Is this thing gaining electrons? I don't see it gaining electrons, so it must be losing electrons, right? And then the CR207 is exactly what's in your data booklet. So two of those, we need seven waters, we need 14 hi or, sorry, hydrogens, and we need six electrons. So, shh. what's the lowest common multiple between four and six? Twelve. It's twelve, right? Mm -hmm. Twenty-four also. Twenty-four kind of works, but then you're gonna have to divide by two. So we just, you just need to take a step back, and you need to slow down, and you need to think sixes. Sixes can make six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Fours, fours can make four, eight, twelve. Boom, twelve is our lowest common multiple, right? How do I make these things gain or lose twelve electrons? The top we're going to times by three. The bottom we're going to times by two. <laughs> Did anybody screw that up? Yep. Did anybody knock? <laughs> knock? <laughs> That's tough. Now, when you balance your reactions. You should have noticed, or hopefully you noticed, that everything was divisible by 2 once you did that. Oh. All of your numbers were divisible by 2, right? I can just divide it by 2, right? So you could have just divided by 2, but then it would have been hard for you to realize that the lowest common multiple or how many electrons are being transferred can in that. Can just divide everything by 2 at the end? Yes, you can. Right. Or if they're all divisible by 3, divide by 3. If they're all divisible by 10, divide by 10. Divide by the largest amount you can. Divide by. Jordy's, Jordy's still choked at me from the quiz. I am. Yeah. What did you decide on um, I Yeah, I've decided, but I'm not going to tell you, and you'll figure it out eventually. So, so. Is it, I feel like it was a good thing to Yeah. No, yeah, I'm going to give you a Calm down. Yeah. Okay. Um, does anybody actually, this is taking a lot longer than I wanted it to because people keep talking and interrupting me. Um, do we want to finish this off? Do you want to see what the final product is yeah. of this reaction? Okay. So we've got three waters. 
sorry. Uh, plus three. Ethanols. Plus two times 14 is 28. Hydrogen ions. Plus two dichromates. And that's going to make three acetic acids. And 12 hydrogen ions. And four chromium three pluses. And 14 waters. So is there anything at all that I can cancel out here? These three and these, so that gets turned into 11. And 12 of these hydrogens are kind of cancel out with those two, be left with 16. And then I would, I would rewrite, because I've canceled, I would re-summarize, <coughs> but none of the numbers are gonna change for now, right? Do you have any, and if you didn't get the lowest common multiple would be 12, if you got it to be 24, then it would have just been six, 32, four, six, eight, and 22, right? Yeah. Shorty. So, just to like clarify, yes. you can get the same answer if you do the top two. <laughs> you will get the exact same answer using PAFU. This way is better for longer. This way is better for longer reactions. Yeah. I like the PAFU method. If you like this method, then that's uh, more power to you. Okay. Let's let's. I just want to do one thing, and we're just going to start this. That's all we're going to do. We're going to start this question, and then I'm going to leave you to your own devices, kind of. What's the first step in doing the half reaction method? I don't know. Separate these into like terms. So what is CLO or OCL? What does CLO minus turn into? CLO minus turns into CLO3 minus. And, uh, well, if CLO minus turns into CLO3 minus, then what the hell makes CL minus? The air. It just happens. It just randomly occurs. What? It's the same thing. You need at least two of these to make that, right? So, because does this kind of show you, this is a disproportionation reaction. This thing is reacting with itself to turn one of them into that and one of them into that. And so now we have to balance this, just recognizing that this thing is gonna react with multiple versions of itself, right? Okay, which one do you wanna do first, top or bottom? Top. Top, sure, top. Are my CLs balanced? Yep, yep. yep. so where am I gonna add waters? To, to the left side. So where am I gonna add hydrogens? To the right, to the right side. Mm -hmm. And how many electrons get transferred? Two, three. Oh. Two, three. Oh, wait. You're right. Two. What? You're not. One. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, I can't think right now. Yeah. Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, wait, you don't work. Almost had it. <laughs> no. Are we okay with this? Yeah. Because it, it's not four? Is it? I don't know. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Yes. Is it? Yes. 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 Natasha, is it? Yes. <laughs> why? Why? What's the total charge on this side? Negative one. one. Negative one. So you need this to be negative one too, right? Oh, and without the electrons, it's positive three. The difference between positive three and negative one is four. Add four electrons to the more positive side. Okay, the second one, the second half reaction. Are the chlorines balanced? Yeah, where do we add waters? One water to the right side. What does that mean? Two hydrogens, 
to this side. What does that mean? Where are the electrons going to go? How many? It's not always on the hydrogen side, but this happens to be positive one, this happens to be negative one. So we're going to add two electrons. Yeah? And then we could finish the rest if we wanted to. But does that make sense? Does it make sense when you're starting a disproportionation that if this is your only reactant, then you have to start it off both in both half reactions, right? Okay, holy guacamole. You don't like it? 